este partido fue traído a ustedes por Oh my god, where do I start guys? Where do I start? I had a feeling we would lose this tie. I had a feeling we would lose this fucking tie, and we did. We won the game, four goals to three, but we lost the tie because Tottenham won the first leg. One goal to nil. The tie ended 4-4 four, four on aggregate. Tottenham wins on the away goal rule. Three away goals. Guys, this video is an emotional video because City is my team, guys. Pardon my appearance. I'm currently at work in a big truck right now. I got my work done so I could watch this game. Such an anti-climactic finish for us, man. We should have won this tie. We won the game. Let's get that straight. We won the game. We should have won this tie. We should have never lost this fucking tie. Not to Tottenham Hotspur. It's happening year after year after year. Since I've been making videos, Man City lost to Monaco. A tie they should have never lost as well. Then to Liverpool. We got blown away last season. You could remember, guys, covered that. And this year again, quarterfinal. We would have had a, a, a nice path to the final too because I do think we can beat Ajax. Even though Ajax has been great, City is my team, I think we could beat Ajax. But we lost the tie. Carly no, we're not top of the league. We're second in the league right now. Tottenham battling for top four. And then now in the semi-final, they have another route to next season's Champions League. And we don't. We actually do. We're second in the league. Let me not get carried away. But it feels like it. It feels like it. We will be in next season's Champions League. We'll come first or second in the Premier League. But Tottenham won't. But they're into the last four of this season's Champions League. This is the first time I think they're making it to the semi-final of the Champions League or any European competition, if I'm not mistaken. Might be wrong on that though. Don't quote me on that. But this is such an anticlimactic finish. But anyways, let's let's just backtrack all the way to the start of the game. Did not start well. Defensive error by Emmerick Laporte. Gifted Hunming Son. Another goal. Gotta give credit for Son. He, he's been brilliant across the tie. Three goals in the tie. And then... Wait, I'm wrong. I am wrong. We did score first. What am I saying? We did score first through Raheem Sterling. My bad, guys. My bad. I'm all fucked up right now. Pardon me. I'm all fucked up right now. Let me, let me get this thing straight. We scored first. Early in the match. Raheem Sterling scored, I think, set up by Kevin De Bruyne. And then I was telling my Liverpool friend at work, yeah, we're back in this. We're back in the tie. We scored one. And as soon as he stepped outside, Son scored that goal I was talking about. And then three minutes later, Son scored again. So Liverpool, um, Tottenham, oh Liverpool, I'm getting nightmares of last season as well. Tottenham, they scored another. It was another defensive error by Emmerich Laporte. Han Ming Sun with a brilliant, brilliant shot to beat Edison, open up his body to score his third goal of the tie. Two away goals for Tottenham. We are down in the match. 
Bernardo Silva equalizes. And I'm like, yeah, we're back in this. Then Sterling scores again. Tap in, set up by De Bruyne. And I'm like, the tie is now level. 3-3. Three, three. I'm like, guys, take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Take your fucking time. Go on and win this thing. Score another goal. Score as many goals as possible. And we did score another goal. Sergio Aguero. Brilliant goal. From an angle to beat Lloris at his near post. We did create a few more chances. But Lloris was equal to the task. I can remember when Kevin De Bruyne had a brilliant opportunity to score. And he hit it. Little to Lloris's right. And he saved it. Even though we won this game, we were second best today, in my opinion. We were second best. Musa Sissoko had to go off, and Pochettino made a gamble. He brought on Llorente. And it proved to be a masterclass substitution by Maurizio Pochettino there, because Llorente would ultimately go on to score what is the winning goal from a corner. Controversial goal. They were reviewing it, saying he pushed company all up port. But it's a goal. The man towered high enough. He's tall already. He put it past Edison. Tottenham. Three away goals. Three away goals. A tie level again. 4-4. This happened in like the 70-something minute. And I'm like, we are going to score another one. That goal almost shattered my heart into a thousand pieces, but I knew we would have scored another goal. Sane came on. Running at Tottenham's defense. We got him behind a couple more times. And then... Can't remember if it was De Bruyne who passed the ball. But it hit Ericsson's leg. And landed nicely to Aguero. He passed it to Raheem Sterling. And Sterling scored. That would have been a hat-trick for Sterling. In the Champions League quarterfinals. Pep Guardiola celebrating like a madman. I'm in this truck right now, just celebrating like a fucking madman. I'm like, what? 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 I'm acting crazy, retarded up in the truck. And I'm like, panting, I'm panting. I'm like, yes, we, we did it. We did it. Psych! We didn't do it. We didn't do it. Aguero was in an offside position. You gotta look back at the offside rule and everything, but if they reviewed it and they deemed it to be offside, it's offside. Even if it came off of Ericsson last, it's still offside, I think. I'm not gonna go into the rules too much. They know the rules more than I, I do. And at that moment, I knew we lost the tie. Because everything just went against us today. Every single thing just went against us today. I'm not talking about refereeing decisions or whatnot. But things didn't align for us today. It just wasn't our day. It just wasn't our day. 4-3. What a thriller we had, guys. We were truly fucking entertained. Thank you very much, my team, Man City and Tottenham. We were entertained. Seven-goal thriller. Eight goals in the tie. But only one team could go through 
to the semi-final to face Ajax and that's Tottenham Hotspur. I do think Maurizio Pochettino and Tottenham Hotspur deserves this. The team has not spent a fucking cent this season on incoming players. Not a cent. Wow. Freaking wow. W O to the motherfucking top of you. Wow. Guys, I told you this this video will be really emotional. I wish I was reacting to a city when in the tie we would face Ajax, but they meet Ajax would meet Tottenham. Pep Guardiola, man. He got it right today. He got it right today. But those defensive errors, they really, really cost us. And no hurricane, no problemo. Hanming Son, man. This guy deserves a lot more credit than he gets. He deserves a lot more fucking credit than he gets. The man is a maestro. He's by far the best player in Asia. In Asia, he gets the love. In Korea, he gets the love. But people ain't giving Son his respect. Maybe this is his season. Maybe this season is his coming of age. He got over 20 goals a season too, I think. The man is having the season of his career. Props to Son, man. Very humble guy. Props to him. City. Hard luck, man. Second best in the tie. Got to work harder next season. But at least we can focus on winning the fucking league. Over Liverpool. Who won their tie. Smash Porto. I think the game ended 4-1 the last time I checked. So that's 6-1 across two legs. Very, very good stuff by Jurgen Klopp and his boys. They will face Barcelona. Ernesto Valverde and Barcelona. I didn't give Valverde any credit yesterday. He deserves the credit, Valverde and Barcelona. I'm pissed off right now. Look, I'm, I'm pissed off, guys. We should have won this tie, but nothing went for us today. Nothing, nothing went for us today, guys. I know a lot of people are going to come on this video and laugh at me. A lot of Man City haters, not the people on my channel who actually, you know... Joke around with me about City or whatnot, but they are haters. They are haters. Genuine fucking haters who just come on to hate on myself and Man City for no reasons. You know what I got to say to the haters? Go fuck yourself, okay? No disrespect to any one of my subscribers watching this, but I just had to get that off my chest. Because when I do my videos, I'm very fair. I'm not biased. I call it how I see it. We're second best. Tottenham Hotspur deserves to be in the semi-final to face Ajax. We give up too many goals. I'll come back a little later to do a, a calmer video. I'll go more into the match and everything. But I'm currently at work. I gotta go eat some food as well. So, if you're new around here, thank you for watching. Thank you for continuing to be a supporter of this channel. Thank you guys for 21K. It's been a long time coming. Good luck to Tottenham. Good luck to Ajax. We know one of these teams are going to be in the final to face Barcelona or Liverpool. May the best teams win. Peace out, guys. Rich!